Hey, how's it going? Now, I know I look a little freaky, but don't just hang in there. It's because I have to shoot this under blackout conditions because it's nighttime. Because of all the stuff that happened today, I was a little bit behind the power curve when it comes to the video, but I still have something to talk about as usual. So we've been talking about how you make a plan and you set goals and all this stuff and today I want to talk to you about the type of goals that you ought to set because regular goals are mostly BS. They tend to center around the myth of massive action and they have a end goal or they are a, a, a means goal and meaning you have to accomplish this goal in order to do something else. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it. The main thing you want to make sure you do is to set a goal for activity, something that you can control. It's, it's not really a good thing to set a goal that you are not in control of. I want to make $100,000 this year. Well, that's fantastic. You have zero control over it. But if you have set your plan based on quitting your job this year and you've backed it up to say, okay, that means I have to make this much money a month, this much money a week, and this much money a day. And by gauging it daily, I will know exactly where I am on my plan every single day. So now you're set as far as how much money you want to make. But the goal, what can I do to make that happen? Let's say you're in a network marketing company and you say, well, if I have a 10% agreement rate where I talk to 10 people and one person decides to get involved with my opportunity and two become customers, let's say. Well, at that point in time, you can say, over the course of a month, if I talk to 100 people, then 10 are going to join the business, 20 are going to become customers. And then you can figure out, based on the commissions on those different things, how much money you will make every month. And the good news is, it will compound monthly after that. So you'll see, at first you're going to be behind your goal, and as you go along, you're going to reach and exceed it, because it keeps adding on to what you're doing. So that's the, that's the gist of it. You want to set goals based on things that you control, and the only thing you control is what you do. Got it? So this is my stealth in blackout mode tip for today. How to set goals that will get you to where you want to be. That's all I got for right now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.